many people in America are raised because of America's Got Talent type programs to believe that Simon Cowell is going to produce for them a life in Hollywood. I don't think that exactly works. What I think is that people come in in advance sort of knowing that they're going to win. And hopefully I think those winners are picked well in advance of who is likely to win based on how marketable their face is, how marketable their body can be, and openly how haughty they can be portrayed. Now that's just a humble old man's opinion. It could be completely unreal, true, and unlawful. But what has happened to some of these people who were famous one season? Are they still making music? Are they still gaining fans? Are they still producing enough money and income for themselves to live in our land? When I talk about time management for Hollywood, I would have to look at your life and determine how does the seasons change for you. In other words, is there an acting season in theater so that people who are in theater then can work in television and then they can work in television, they can work in movies. Is there seasons like that, like a pro ball player or someone who's in preseason training before the real season begins? Because in the world of business, we have certain days of the week that are a win for most people who are trying to win in their business. On top of that, we do have disciplined agendas so that we are not caught or thought of of wasting people's time and wasting people's dime. Because many small business owners, many independent sales professionals, which is in essence, in essence what an actor or actress is doing, is they're selling themselves as talent, as producers, as orators, as storytellers, and sometimes as national speakers to go to businesses to speak on certain topics of their life or of their rights. They still have to take the time to write the presentation, and at some point, if you're like an author who has hundreds of books already out there and translated across many languages, like John Maxwell and <coughs> others, uh, such as Rich Dad Poor Dad. We even had those books in Japanese because I wanted my family, who are fluent, to be able to understand the premise of our household. Now, what I mean is, do you have time during the day to read? Do you have time during the day to pee? Do you have time during the day to bleed, if you have to? And do you have time, in every way, to stop the predators from preying on your time? In other words, do you tell people, I'm available during these months of the year to do that project? in order to help to guide people to decide whether or not you're really right for them. You see, I don't know, because in business, we choose how we handle our time. Mondays are usually pre-launch for the week ahead. Tuesdays through Thursday are sales days. Instead, Friday is a wrap-up for doing networking and other art forms of pr pr producing new life. Now, if you're an entrepreneur in that theatrical industry, can you do things like that? Or are you on a set 24 hours at a time? Those are pieces of information that I only give, get and gather when I'm doing my watching of extended cuts, which I rather enjoy because it shows more of who people truly are, and it also shows what has done by far to produce the incredible entertainment that my late father loved and started in me as a child from early ages. And literally, he didn't always mind when I stayed home from church on Sundays when they had movie days, but that's not the important point. The important point is when we're working, we're working. When we're sleeping, we're sleeping. When we're doing other things and planning our life, that's entirely different life. You see, maybe you don't work on Fridays, but maybe you do work Friday, Saturday, Sunday if you're in a theater production and you're off on Mondays. You see, every part of that world is a little different, but how you create the art of that time management is to look and listen to the Lord. Because sometimes God says, please don't do this, but you don't listen. And it produces for you new opportunities, but those opportunities might not be marvelous. Something that crossed my mind today and yesterday was how these pitch perfect people have gone on to new things and someone tested the ground of, could this become sort of a television series based on the house of God? And hopefully it has been canceled after two seasons, allegedly, which is good and bad. Because on the one hand, it showed that America was interested in God. On the other hand, it showed that people were not interested in the productivity of paying attention to a choir for a long time. Now, that also provided that movie series inclinations of whether or not they should go that way in the development of more storyline. 
And I can tell you that what I heard of Brittany Snow's idea was so moronic. I thought, oh my God, let's not go there. We don't need to do that. There's many other more interesting opportunities that they could pursue. Think about when Queen Talitha went off to a monstrous mountain retreat spending her last dime, which was a great film <coughs> with Ice-T, but I don't, maybe it wasn't Ice-T, I can't remember, some rapper who's become a marvelous actor. But the point is, it was a clever film and very uh, interesting at that. My late spouse, having been a culinary artist, really enjoyed that. But that's not the point. How do you manage your time? How do you manage that time while you still have the time and the inclination to do that work? Because at some point you might go into screenwriting. At some point you might already be screenwriting. At some point you might consider producing or you might consider directing. So what if you put your marvelous friends and family together to make that network? But you move that network into the middle of the Midwest, where flying to the East Coast or the West Coast to do these different types of interviews is not so stressful. And openly, you're going to go through that hub in Georgia anyway, so what the hell? It's not a place to stay in the midst of snakes and alligators and hell on Earth in terms of heat. But a little bit of seasonal change gives you quite the treat for different types of movies that you can produce, almost like Hallmark, who produce their own films. Why? So they could produce money? No, so they could sell their ornaments. And openly, they've always done that. And it's been an enjoyable series and has given a lot of actors a launch. But the truth is, how you choose to launch with people to move your career forward is totally on your time management. Now, how you do that, I'd have to know much more about what an average day, average week, average season, average year is for an actor to give anything marvelous about time management in Hollywood. But I do appreciate the challenge that God is willing to play with you as long as you're willing to play, but here's the truth, here's the rough, here's the question. You made all these promises to God. Are you willing to follow through?